Okay, this time I will fix um, one of those design mistakes. I think the pizza should have a quantity. So if you look at here, pizza, there are three properties. So let me add quantity as a property, which is um, integer type. Okay, make sure you set uh, setters and getters. Then here, I think I don't need to use um, two constructors, so I'll remove them. So that I will use a default constructor implicitly. I mean, without declaring default constructor or other constructors. Second, I will change to version 3 because it's part 3 of a uh, uh, pizza sharp project. So let me add pizza dot set quantity. I say it refers to um, text field quantity, get text. So we may need to do type casting because get text will return string value. So let me change to integer using pass int methods. Again, typo. And then uh, method here is a pizza get quantity. So let me use the methods for um, for that one. Uh, we don't really need it anymore. So let me comment it out. For the C put same thing. Copy paste it. Bezi, also same. Okay, we are using uh, methods belongs to pizza object. So pizza get quantity, pizza get quantity. So we fixed two problems. Okay. So if you select the number one quantity, okay, it actually works. It's number one. So set and get a method for quantity properties. It works. Okay. So let me try one more thing here. Um, what if we don't select pizza at all? Okay, there's supposed to be some sort of message to say that we should select the pizza type because the if else statement um, I did not put else statement that's why you cannot verify so say please select uh, pizza type Okay, at least we can see uh, some validations. Then once we do that, we can order one pizza. I think that's all. Thank you.